Okay, so there's this one Wings of Fire Roblox game that I'm really hyped about. I made a video on it before, but that was like a few months back and the game looked really different back then. Like, in just those few months, this game has changed a lot. There's a lot more tribes now, um, when, they made, when I made the video back then, it only had like, a few tribes. Just in general, a lot has changed. There's even a customization system now. If my mic quality sounds different, it's probably because I got a new phone over Christmas, and I haven't made one of the one of these kinds of videos since then, so that's probably why it's a different phone. Yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do is just show you this game, show you how much has changed, show you how much potential this game has, because it has a lot of potential and I'm really hyped for it for that reason. Oh, I should do more stuff on this game because the development on it is going really fast. I sound so gross, ew. <laughs> So here's a thingy where you can select the tribes. You can select different tribes just by clicking on the icon, except I have terrible internet so the icons aren't loading right now. Oh my gosh, Sandwing, what happened to you? I promise this is not how the game usually performs, it's just my stupid internet acting up again. So here's the different tribes, they're all really beautiful, I love the models in this game. The Nightwing's tongue kind of looks weird in the selection though. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? I want to be a Rainwing, but what happened? I promise you, normally it doesn't run like this. So we have Sea Wing, Ice Wing, and Mud Wing. There's a Mud Wing in this, this game has all the Pyrian tribes now. I want to be a Rainwing, even though it isn't, like, loaded. Ah, help, it still didn't load. This is infuriating. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Sorry if I sound monotone or like I'm in a bad mood or something. It's because I'll have to leave the house soon. I hate leaving the house. I hate going out and going places. I hate having to go out in public. I wish I could just stay in my room. This is so annoying. I need to work on this video. This is so annoying. That's another thing too. I've been putting more and more effort into my videos lately and it's, it, it gets stressful. And that's why I haven't uploaded as much. It's partly because people I know, like, in real life are telling me, Hey, you should really start monetizing your videos. You should start making stuff that people are actually gonna like. The, f I, the first time I started YouTube, I started doing it just primarily to, for fun, but now I've got this teacher who's like, Oh, I'm gonna give you tips on how to improve your channel. Can, can I just... I s it feels like a chore sometimes if people are going to think that my goal is to be monetizing my videos. They convinced me that my goal should be monetizing my videos, but if I go with that mindset, it kind of feels like a chore and I don't want that. Anyways, enough of my rant. These are all the tribes. These are what they actually look like when it isn't having loading issues. They're all really beautiful, like I said. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm just in love. They're just so pretty. These are probably the prettiest Wings of Fire models I have ever seen in the history of any Wings of Fire game that I have come across. I want to be a Rainwing. One of the things about this game, okay, first of all, there isn't a paint tool yet. Um, it's going to be added, thankfully. And yeah, another thing I noticed is that the rain wings actually have black and this makes me happy. Petunia finally has black, thank you, please keep the black there. I'm just gonna make her, doesn't look too accurate with the just the simple customization, but tried my best. But I feel like once the paint tool comes out, the models are gonna be extremely customizable. You can go creative, like crazy with the creativity. That's what I think is gonna happen. There's also an accessories thingy. The Rainwings don't have accessories yet, though. A lot of the tribes don't, but some do. The Nightwings and Sea Wings and Sandwings have accessories. But you see, when I press it here, it doesn't really, like, show anything. But it does with some of the tribes. There's also a Hybrids tab and a Weirdling tab. It has these weird squares, but this is going to be something in the future. From what I've seen and heard, the Hybrids are not going to be a separate model. They're going to be little parts that you can add onto your dragon. But yeah, I wonder what's in store for these. You can put in your name and bio. I'm just gonna put my OC's name and I don't know what to put for my bio, so I'm just gonna put 
H. I just spawned. Why am I spitting venom in all different directions? There are a lot of people here. Oh my gosh, what is that sandwing doing? But as you can see, the night wings over there, for example, have accessories. This is a really pretty game, and I'm just gonna showcase some animations. They're all really good. By the way, the game has multiple developers. Goldie Bays is pretty much the one who's in charge. Bellasaurus helps with the animations. Yeah. They work on the game actively, and a lot of the progress is getting done really quickly. It's a really good dev team. As of now, you cannot fly yet, but that's being worked on. There's only one current map, the Sea Wing Kingdom, but there are planned to be more maps. I'm currently exploring the different rooms. You see there's a dining room. I'm also just admiring the walk animation. It's really good. Here's the room from pretty much from book two where they had that meeting. You see it's got all the ranks on it and stuff. This is good for role plays, and this game also does a really good job sticking to canon. I like when games based off book series stick to canon. It makes me feel more comfortable. Here's some more animations in the game. Here's the bite animation. There's a laying on your side animation. I like when roleplay game emotes have more than one position in doing a certain thing like sleeping. It gives a bigger roleplay variety. This is the spitting venom animation, although I have seen a sneak peek of it being remade before. But the venom effect is really good, really accurate. There's a spread wings animation too. You press R to sit, lay, and sleep, and press T to get back up, just like in Wings of Fire EA. The number keys are different emotions, and the emotions are really, really well done. Like, the emotions are some of my favorites. The way the frill and ears move is really expressive. Also, can we talk about the disgust animation? It's really silly. The disgust animation is me when I drink orange juice after brushing my teeth. To be honest, you can obviously tell that Bella did these because this is like her style, like her animation style. Look how pretty the map is. Look how pretty. This is the shoreline, the beachy area in the Sea Kingdom. I'm just running around this area and just showing you how pretty it is. It's beautiful and it's extremely well done. It's absolutely gorgeous and realistic. As I go in the water, you can clearly see that there is no swimming added yet but that will also be added. From what I've seen from their Discord server, I think there's going to be a big update coming eventually. I really, really look forward to it. I've seen sneak peeks. I think it's going to have saves, a paint tool. I think some remade animations, but like, that's what I'm looking forward to the most, but I think there's definitely going to be more. I'm really excited to see what my OCs look like with the paint tool. Especially considering the models in this game are beautiful, eye candy, and they don't look cursed from the front or anything. They don't look cursed at all. I think I covered everything, but that's all I really need to say. Thanks for watching. This game has a lot of potential. Feel free to subscribe if you want more content like this. That would really make me happy. It'd be greatly appreciated. Ugh, my voice!